Good afternoon. Bonjour. Uh, my name is Steve Staples. I'm the president of the Rideau Institute. I'm very happy to introduce you today Dr. Sadiq Weera. Dr. Weera is here visiting Canada briefly uh, from Kabul. Uh, Dr. Weera is the leading expert on the prospect of a negotiated settlement to the Afghan conflict. He has a position as senior advisor to the uh, Independent National Commission on Strengthening Peace in Afghanistan, and he's also a senior policy advisor to the Minister of Education in the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. Following today's uh, press conference, he will be appearing before the Common Standing Committee on Foreign Affairs as part of their investigation or examination of the situation in Afghanistan. And uh, I'd just like to introduce uh, Dr. Weera, and we'll follow by questions. Dr. Weera. Good afternoon. What I'm going to say is not the position of the Afghan government, but independent observations and research as a peace expert that I have done in Afghanistan. I have a very strong message for the Canadian public and the families of the men and women in armed forces that without a political track, without a political process, the military intervention in Afghanistan is not going to achieve its objectives. The Afghan war has a very important political component and that component can only be addressed through a political uh, process of peace dialogues and peace negotiations. The war is not going on in Afghanistan because we have 1,000 fewer soldiers. The war is not going on because we have less coordination among the donors and military forces. And the war is not going to end with the recommendations made by the Manley's report. It's a wonderful work. I commend the work done by Manley's panel, but it's missing one major component. It has a major inadequacy, and that is it has not recommended a political process to address the unresolved civil war in Afghanistan and also to address the regional dimension of war in Afghanistan. Ladies and gentlemen, development cannot happen if you still have war going on. Good governance is impeded by the remnants and the sequelae of the unresolved civil war and also the regional dimension. So I'm saying that Canada needs to take a lead and to look at the unaddressed gap in the interventions for achieving its objectives in Afghanistan. You can only bring peace and stability and good governance and development if you address all major determinants of the Afghan conflict. You need to start this political track. That track needs to be created on uh, multi uh, levels with the regional dimension addressed and we need to reduce insurgencies. Fighting alone is not going to succeed because there are Afghan elements involved who are not terrorists. Not all who fight against the government are sharing the ideology of Al-Qaeda and its vision. They do have national grievances and that not only affect the continuation of war, but also affects the government's stability inside the, and around the government. Uh, we need to have diplomatic processes. I was happy to see in Manley's report that there is emphasis on diplomacy, but we need to go further than diplomacy to create coordination among the donors and, and warring uh, and for, uh, military forces. We need to break up the Taliban and isolate the Al-Qaeda in terrorists, and that can only be done through peace processes, and those peace processes do not have a medium in Afghanistan. There is no mechanism for it. There is no international support for it. There is no, not enough dialogue and talk and discussion even about it. 